Maybe the days of the professional female bed warmers are over, maybe. But our hot rocks have evolved into an electric rock, which is this ceramic lump here, in which you plug in some power for 20 minutes and it gives you heat and it, for six hours. Warning, this bed warmer must not be placed in the bed with the flexible cord connected. Now, think on. But that shape owes its heritage, its lineage, to this earlier hot water bottle. It's a ceramic bottle with a little filler here. You whiz your hot water in there, boiling water. <laughs> Who would have thought if it leaked? Will it crack? Boiling water in there and pop that non-cuddleable shape, really, into your bed. So for cuddling purposes, this was evolved. The wonder material rubber had been available since the mid-1800s, looking for uses apart from the tyre. Its flesh-like quality made it a watertight choice for bed warming. In 1943, the electric copy used Bakelite in hard competition. It had a thermostat so it could be used continuously, but the design that eclipsed both of these was made of pressed steel and was out of this world. This little flying saucer, and it was called the flying saucer bed warmer, is actually quite efficient, really. And guess what this is powered by? Photon energy, neutrons, Whoa! Nothing more spectacular than a 40 watt bulb. Our ways of keeping warm in bed haven't always been quite so acceptable. Take the electric blanket, for instance. Now, this was a rare and dangerous product, really, that didn't come into wide acceptance until it was used in the 1920s with tuberculosis patients so they could get fresh air outside while still being warm. Now, what a bizarre concept. You're in bed and you're plugged in. All that electricity all over the place. I think I've run a few ideas through now, I think. It must have been a bizarre situation for people to be in bed and wildlife to be hopping around and birds flying and all that sort of stuff. This is bizarre. Well, they must, it must have worked. We all still use them. Electric blankets have only been called that since the 50s. Before that, names like warming pad or heated quilt were used as they sounded safer. And I can't help thinking that any little accident in the bed in the early days could be somewhat um, shocking. 